Morphe are officially parting ways with James Charles and YouTube have temporarily demonetized James's YouTube channel following his recent allegations that he has been exchanging sexual messages with underage fans and here's why. Number 5. Since 2018, 21 year old James Charles has released several collaborations with Morphe, most notably his original James Charles and Morphe Artistry Palette, which went on to be Morphe's best-selling product of the year, selling out four times. Now, both James and Morphe have released statements announcing that their collaboration would be ending because of serious allegations. Number 4. These allegations started back in February when a 16 year old TikToker posted a now deleted TikTok that appears to show James sending him sexually explicit messages and images on Snapchat. James then released a statement on Twitter in which he claimed that the 16 year old TikToker lied about his age. James then promised to ask to see the ID or passport of every guy he speaks to in the future. And this was just the beginning. Number 3. In the same month, three more underage boys came forward with their stories. One 15-year-old claiming that James flirted with him even after learning his age. And another claiming that James used him for sexual pleasure and screenshotted his photos without his permission. Then, on April 1st, influencer scandal account at Deaf Noodles tweeted a TikTok which shows James Charles allegedly paying a fan to send nudes. In the screenshots, James supposedly states, shut up and send stuff and you'll get money if you take good pics and videos. Alongside screenshots of James supposedly paying up to $50 per picture and video. And around the same time of these allegations, news broke out that James would not be returning as the host for season two two of the YouTube original series Instant Influencer. Remember to blend, but don't blend in. Which James was originally set to make a comeback. James then finally addressed the allegations. Number two. I finally, finally came to a conclusion. It sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to and that is that I'm Desperate. In a video titled Holding Myself Accountable, James confesses to his mistakes, apologizes to the boys he's messaged in the past, and admits that the reason he actively flirts with fans is because he is desperate. But this apparently wasn't enough. Number 1. On April 17th, Morphe tweeted an official statement announcing their mutual decision to end their business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe and James Charles product offering. And on the same day, James tweeted a statement confirming his split from Morphe, also stating that since his holding myself accountable video went live, many others have come forward with a series of misleading stories and false allegations which have been reported on by many people, creators and news outlets. And this has gone too far. These stories has caused many of my long-term partners to receive considerable negative feedback, one of them being Morphe. I reached out to them and we mutually agreed to wind down our James Charles and Morphe collaboration, which is my only project with them. Not only that, but as of April 20th, YouTube announced that they have temporarily demonetized James's YouTube channel, meaning ads will no longer play during his videos and he will no longer be making money from his content. One user took to James's side, tweeting, Y'all really are so annoying on social media. Leave James alone. You don't need to ruin people's livelihoods just for your 10 minutes of fame. Another tweeted, obviously the miners purposely lied to get James in trouble. It's not James's fault.